Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Good morning guys. It is 6:30 a.m. in the morning and it's time to get driving this beast, the Mini Cooper S convertible. Car आई है दो दिन से, लेकिन अब हम जा रहे हैं driving vlog करने. So I'm going to give you a good info about the car, how it drives, how it is. So much fun, in spite of having just four freaking cylinders. Well. You necessarily don't have to be a super guard to put a smile on the face, but I am matching, matching right now. Let's go it going. Performance is absolutely phenomenal and fantastic. The engine is always egging you to push it harder and faster. It's a two-liter unit. Sounds amazing as well. In fact, it has got cranks and pops, but they are very subtle. Not the JSW, JCW kind. In fact, the JCW exhaust is not road legal, so it says when you're pressing that button to open the active exhaust or to open the exhaust valve, only do it on a private road or on a track. But you know what? The exhaust is still pretty nice. It feels so good, and oh my goodness, the acceleration is just something else. Take 7.1 seconds to go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. The engine offers good amount of punch throughout the rev range because you know. Torque comes lower down at 1250 rpm and stays all the way to 4600 rpm, and peak power comes between 5000 to 6000 rpm, which gives it a great top end punch as well, a rush in the top end. But red line is earlier at 6500 rpm. You've got complete manual control of things. Now we are in manual mode. It will not upshift unless and until I decide to do so. Here, you see, we are in second gear. There, slightly above 6500 rpm, and it will not upshift. Now, obviously, I can use the Tiptronic function on the gear lever to shift gears. Or obviously, I can use the steering-mounted paddles as well. It's a very involving drive. The only thing is the ride quality is really very harsh. I mean, it is on the stiffer side, but the steering is so good. I mean, you can point and you can shoot. That is the level of steering feel on this car. It's stellar. Braking performance is fab. The grip levels are stellar too. In spite of the fact that I've turned off traction control, I don't like traction control in front-wheel drive cars. Now, this is a front-wheel drive car. Many of you are like, "Man, you should launch a rear-wheel drive car." That's never going to happen. In fact. They are going. Okay, someone's giving me this thumbs up button. They are that biker on the Thunderbird 350 or 500. I don't know really. So what we are going to do is we are going to take a turn a little aggressively, and you can see how engaging this car is actually to drive. The steering is just in an entirely different league altogether. We've got three drive modes, and these drive modes obviously alter the engine, the gearbox, as well as the steering wheel. Now, I love the acceleration. It is so good. So you're going to come below 30 kilometers per hour. Anyways, you have to come below 30 kilometers per hour. You know why? Because the ride quality is really very stiff. And we're going to open the sunroof first. So what you're opening is the sunroof. This is actually the sunroof of the car. It's a very nice way of doing dual roofs. One sunroof, and obviously the other is the convertible. And now you can see I'm putting the complete roof down. It's time for wind in your hair. The reason I opened it here is because the roads are slightly better in the sense that dust is a little less. But I've got a really small patch. And once the roof like retracts completely, then obviously the windows also go up. We are done. You can hear a lot more of the noise around. However, this is a really bad patch of road where you can feel the stiffness. Now you can get adaptive dampers as option. Everything is optional on this car. Almost everything. The camera costs fifty thousand rupees. This audio system costs one point two lakh rupees. Yeah, this is Harman Kardon audio system. Everything is optional. If you see the optional price, this will be baffled. Itna mehenga ho sakta hai, but I mean, yeah, that's what Mini is all about: customization options. This is a facelift. It also gets like the facelift obviously gets the new LED lights and whatnot. Here we are revving the motor. No, no, no. Let's stop revving the motor and. My goodness! It absolutely sounds like a rocket ship. Once you are able to get the right launch, and when you launch it properly, now there is so much wheel spin on offer. Steering is so good. I love the way this car drives. Handling characteristic, amazing. Real bike track, lightweight front wheel drive. No, yeah, but whatever. Overall performance and feel from this car is stellar to say the least. And directional changes are so amazing as well. I love this Mini Cooper convertible. But you know what? I haven't shown you around the car. So what I'm going to do quickly is head back. Okay, not freshen up. I'm just going to show you the exteriors of this car to tell you why a Mini is so special. In fact, so special. I'm also wearing a Mini T-shirt today. Well, that is matching. In fact, the racing stripes here on the collar too. That's also kind of cool. It actually improves my performance. Okay, why would my performance improve? Actually, my speech performance would improve. No double meaning there. Holy moly! Now it's time to put the roof down because there's going to be dust right ahead. Just finished the driving vlog of the Mini Cooper convertible. It's already becoming so hot, and there's so much dust around, so the roof cannot be down anymore, which is a big challenge. Which personally makes me think 
that does it make even any sense to buy a convertible car in india i really don't think so because yeah it looks very swaggy it looks very nice it's so much fun as well wind in your hair and all that but so much dust it's more of dust in your hair than wind in your hair i mean you're going to be spending a lot more money in spa for the car than for yourself actually for yourself also because then there's going to be a lot of dust on your hair everywhere you ask for it तो अभी क्या करूंगा मैं क्विकली यहाँ से निकलता हूँ बिकॉज बहुत ज्यादा गर्म हो रहा है रूफ अप करते हैं एंड लेट्स गेट गोइंग राइट अवे हैप्पीनेस इज फिनिशिंग एवरीथिंग विच यू प्लान टू डू सो इन द राइट टाइम इन विच आई मैनेज टू डू टू डे सो आई एम कैन हैप्पी बट आई एम ऑल्सो वेरी इरिटेटेड विद ऑल द डस्ट एवरीवेयर इंक्लूडिंग इन साइड द कार बट स्टिल आई एम ड्राइंग विद द रूफ डाउन दैट इज माई कमिटमेंट टू द मेनी कूपर एस कन्वर्टेबल एनी वेज गाइज You see the design is nice actually it's very I would you say retroish with everything almost round however what i don't understand why the fake vents how can you do fake vents at this price point i simply don't understand only rest of the car looks more or less the same which was launched in 2014 and the convertible i think came in 2016 lci i think came last year or so lci basically life cycle impulse which is the face lift of the mini cooper or of any bmw car as such i don't know rolls royce bolte hain ki nahi now you know the good thing is that you can open this yeah and this can take 80 kg of weight 80 kg of weight you can actually sit here yeah that's right you can actually sit here that is very convenient actually it's made to keep stuff rear seats are useless you can't keep anything there other than your luggage which i've done right now and the interior is absolutely stellar because obviously high quality very driver centric and feels different from anything else you have ever seen because mini's interiors make you feel like you're driving something absolutely different nothing conventional here which is a good thing thank you so much for watching this vlog if you like it make sure to give it a thumbs up i'm feeling hungry right now i'll just go grab a pizza or two and maybe have churros yeah bye bye